The River State Chapter of the All Progressives Congress, APC, has warned the state governor, Siminulaye Fubara, against running the state without a duly approved budget by the State House of Assembly. The chairman of the caretaker committee of the party in the state, Tony Okocha, made the call when he visited the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Martin Zamawile, at his office or official residence in Portakot alongside his executive members. The Ketaka Committee Chairman Tony Okocha, however, alleged that within five months, the state government under the leadership of Simina Laie Fubara received the sum of 144.2 billion naira from the Federation account. Okocha noted that the funds have not really been transmitted to action in terms of development in the state. He said despite the allocation received between June to November last year by Governor Fubara, the state is yet to see how it has been invested into developmental projects. He warned that the party will not hesitate to punish any of its members found to be involved in the ongoing squandering of the commonwealth of the people of the state. We frown at the governor's impunity in running river states without a budget. <coughs> However, we remind him that it will amount to gross financial misconduct for him to continue in this dangerous voyage. The Red Rebel Speaker, it is our finding that a whooping sum of 144 billion, 291 million, 667,791 naira, 01 cobble, have been received from federal allocation under FAC. This amount quoted here is outside internally generated revenue of the state, which is put at conservatively 10 billion naira every month. We regret that these humongous amounts have not translated to action in any way in terms of development in the state. What we see are heavily funded street processions and media presences. The APC caretaker chairman, however, expressed delight on how the defected legislators carried out their legislative businesses and oversight functions, urging the 27 lawmakers who defected to the APC to domesticate the local government autonomy, which was recently passed into law. Responding, the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, or Right Honorable Martin Zamawile, thanked the APC leadership for the visit, saying it will strengthen members of the House. Amawile said the Assembly had recently passed many bills into law, which includes local government autonomy bill. He explained that the lawmakers decided to override the executive over non-consent to some bills in order to strengthen democratic process in River State. It's the watershed in the history of River State. That law has clearly showed that the River State House of Assembly is financially autonomous. That law is we strengthen our independence as an arm of government. You already are aware that there has been a constitutional amendment to that effect. And what we have just done is to domesticate the acts of the National Assembly in such a way that it will function to the, uh, for the interest of uh, rivers people. And I'm happy that we now have it as a law. We are surprised that the governor chose to withhold his assets when some other states are already towing the line of the act of the National Assembly. As we speak, there are states where the governor goes to regularly and buys them. They already have financial autonomy. Lagos State has it. Why would River State not have financial autonomy? The, uh, the state legislature not have it. So in the same manner, we are strengthening the local government system. We are also strengthening the state legislature. We are strengthening the traditional institutions. Any democratic uh, aspect of our life that needs touch, rest assured that the Tenth Assembly will do justice so that as a democracy can be strengthened. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.